Hey everybody, today I thought I'd do a quick video to walk you through how to use the web weather widget on your Garmin Instinct watch. Uh, the watch that I'm going to be using in the video is my watch. This is the regular Garmin Instinct. This is the non-tactical version. So if you're watching this video and you've got the tactical version, I think the directions are going to be basically the same thing, but uh, just want to let you know this is the non-tactical version of the Garmin Instinct. So the Garmin Instinct comes with several widgets that are preloaded on your watch, and you can go through and you can adjust these widgets as you want. You can uh, remove ones that you're not interested in, you can add other ones. The way you're gonna navigate to your different widgets is on the left-hand side of the watch, you've got a menu button, which is your up button, and you've got an ABC button, which is your down button. And to navigate through your different widgets, you can simply just press the up or down button to go through them. So for example, uh, this one's the barometric pressure, here's the compass, uh, sunrise and sunset. A lot of times when you get to the weather one, it's going to look like this, or if, if you use the watch the way I do, it's going to say waiting for data. So the weather widget on this watch, the watch doesn't really predict weather or um, do a whole lot other than the barometric pressure, but um, it actually uses your cell phone weather app um, to display the weather information. So if you don't have the Garmin Connect running on your phone, you're not going to have uh, weather data. Now, the one thing I will say is once I connect to Garmin Connect, it's going to read my phone, pull the weather information from my phone, display it on the watch, and then it'll stay cached there for a while. So you can actually close the Garmin Connect app on your phone, and you'll still see uh, weather data on your watch. But the reason for that is just because you've got some cache um, history in there. After a while, it'll eventually go away and you'll be back to this waiting for data screen. So it's pretty easy. If you're, um, if you're getting the screen, all you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your phone is paired to your watch and that your Bluetooth is on and open Garmin Connect and wait for it to start connecting. And you'll see as soon as it connected, now all of a sudden you're able to see the weather information. So you've got your high temperature, your low temperature, your uh, wind six miles per hour out of the Northeast. Uh, your humidity, and then what the skies look like. It's partly cloudy today. Uh, as with any of the widgets, when you're in there, you can actually press the GPS button to see if there's any um, settings or configurations. When I press it here, it'll take me to the hourly forecast. So it's showing me today per hour. I'm basically looking at for the next four hours, that's the, the weather. If I press the down button, you get to the daily forecast over the next four days. That's what the weather looks like. And that's really gonna be the only features that you've got in there. If I press it down or up again, all I can do is go back to hourly or daily, and that's it. If I close Garmin Connect on my phone, even though I'm no longer connected, you'll see that the weather widget is still working just fine. And again, that's because it's got uh, it's pulled information from the Garmin Connect app. It's displaying it on the watch. You'll see after a certain period of time, usually within a few hours, this up here will start showing an exclamation mark, which basically means that you're not looking at refresh data. And if it says waiting for connection or uh, phone connection needed, basically it means you're not connected to Garmin Connect on your phone and you need to reconnect the app. So anyway, and once you're done viewing the weather, just like with anything, you'll press the set button to go back and you're back on your default screen. So I hope that helps. That's just a quick video on how to get the weather information displayed on your Garmin Connect watch or your Garmin Instinct. Thanks for watching.